anybody ever seen me on any of my other videos so I'm the Cincinnati clad king I call myself that because I'm close to 4,000 coins and have not found one silver coin yet so kind of depressing but you know love this uh, hobby love going out there digging whether it's a clad coin or if I was digging a silver coin but Hopefully you guys will be able to stay with me when I find my first silver coin. The hunt I'm going out today is a school that was built in 1900, so it's probably been hit several times, but all I need is one good hit where I find that one silver coin. And hopefully you guys are there with me when that happens. So let's keep our finger crossed. Uh, let's talk about the sport for a little while. I call it a sport because I like it as a sport more than a hobby. It's a hobby that really pays back. So, you know, guys go out there and spend thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars on remote controlled airplanes, helicopters, cars, and because they do that because they enjoy it. Well, we do it because we enjoy it too. But one thing about our hobby, we may find enough stuff, valuable stuff, to pay for our hobby 10 times over so one good ring one gold ring can pay, pay for your melody tip right now I'm about $450 in a hole that's counting all the equipment I bought minus all the coins I've found so far so I don't think that's bad I have an AT Pro that I use which is a very nice metal detector there's other ones out there that's uh, probably goes a little bit deeper, supposed to be a little bit better, but I'm happy with my AT Pro. And the plus, I'm, I can't spend that kind of money on the melody detectors. So, but anyway, Cincinnati Clad King, going out for a hunt. Talk to you later when I get there. Show you the site that I'm hunting at. And you guys have a great day. All right, folks, I wanted to show you some of the equipment that I take out on the hunt with me. Of course, number one piece of equipment is a metal detector. You got to have that. I use one knee pad. I have two, uh, but I at least use one. Uh, going down on my knees uh, can get kind of rough when you're digging hundreds of holes in a hunt. I got a little fanny pack. Uh, you got a pair of gloves here. Of course, you got to have some type of knife or digger to dig with. I have a pin pointer and a towel to throw dirt on once I get in the hole and have to dig uh, even a little bit more. I'm telling you, you really uh, one of the pieces of equipment you really got to have is a pin pointer. I, I tell you what, if you're out there metal detecting and you don't have a pin pointer, you're wasting a lot of minutes trying to find that corn or item in the dirt. So uh, if you don't have one now, get you a pin pointer. You would really will speed up your digs and stuff. So. Here's my equipment, my AT Pro, and all my other equipment here. So we're gonna go out hunting, and I oh, I left <clears throat> one piece of equipment out, uh, bug spray. <laughs> I tell you what, um, no matter if you're just going in the field or the woods, I would you know suggest always putting on some bug spray. You don't want to be uncomfortable out there when you're digging a hole and things are crawling on your or biting on you. So. Always take some bug spray. Alright, we're getting about a 86 uh, hit. So that should be a quarter right here. And it's um, It says 2 inches deep and the grass is kind of tall. So I'm thinking it's right under the surface. So let's do a live dig and see what we come up with. As you can see, there it is right there. So it is a quarter right under the surface. 
All right. Good fun. Well, this dug this plug here. Um, we're getting a 80, 81, and what we have is a dime. So, good find here. Uh, so, there's still coins in this field. We'll keep digging. All right, on to the next hole. Well, I got a nice little find here. As you can see, it's, I guess it's a little girl's bracelet. Uh, really nice little piece here. Really cute. Um, not sure what it's made out of. It might not be made out of anything. It might be all costume type stuff, but I think that's a pretty nice find. Um, all right. Great job. Uh, we'll move on to the next hole. I like that a lot. Well, I'm here at the field. Um, I have started metal detecting. I had a few hits so far. I just want to show you where I'm at again. So, big area. You see people in the distance cutting grass. Very nice big complex over here. So, I got a hit down here. Laid my towel down there. So, let's go ahead and do a live dig and see uh, what we come up with. So right in this area here, so we're going to go ahead and do a live dig. Hmm, not getting nothing. Maybe I missed pinpointing it accurate. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to get back with you guys because uh, I missed pinpointed. Alright, I'm back. Yes, I did miss pinpointed, I think. Here's the plug I just dug. And I'm getting it right here now. So, let's try it again. Yeah, I'm getting something down in a hole now. So let's see if we can dig that out. I'm going to lay my tile down here. Put the extra dirt on there. It's out of the hole. Oh, maybe it's not. Yeah, here it is right here. All right. Copper penny. All right, on to the next hole. All right, I'm getting a hit right here. I'm getting a 53. So we either going to come up with a nickel or a pull tab. So let's see what we have. All right, we got our plug. Get something in the plug. Work our way down. And sure enough, a pull tab. All right, let's. All right, I'm getting a 7880. I don't think it's a dime. I'm thinking it's a copper penny, but you know, I'm not too proud, so I'm going to go ahead and dig that. So, let's do a live dig. Let's see what we have here. All right, sounds like it's in the plug.
All right, let's see what we get. All right, it's, I don't know what it is, a cap to something, a metal cap. All right, not a copper penny, not a dime. All right, I was getting another hit in this hole, around about an 8081. What I have right now, you got a coin ball, so it's something inside this uh, clump of dirt. And let's see if we can get it open and on film see what's in here there it is right here uh, looks like a memorial penny so all right on to the next hole the live dig here I uh, getting the signal right in this area here um, the noise you hear is them cutting the grass over here in this area so let's get back to the live dig, see what we come up with. Well, I'm not getting anything again, so tells me again I don't know how to pinpoint. Most frustrating thing is missing your mark. So, all right, I'm gonna turn the camera off now and I'll get back with you as soon as I find. Yeah, I was off a little bit. I started the plug right here, what you've seen on the live dig, and right next to it, and there's my item. All right, I was getting some multiple signals in this area around here. Uh, this hole here, I uh, ended up finding two copper pennies. But I still think I'm getting a couple signals around here. But we'll check it in a minute, and I'll get back with you if that's the case. All right, I was right. Uh, here's my plug. Here's my last plug right here. And I believe I have something in my plug here. So let's see if we can find out what it is. There it is, we got a dime. But also, my last plug, this plug here, I think I got another signal over here. So let's check it out and see what we got. All right, last plug, the plug over here before that. And now we're getting a signal right here, deep signal, 8 to 10 inches. So we're going to dig here and see what we come up with. Yeah, we got something in the hole. All right, let's get that dug out. I don't hear anything, so I must be up here in the dirt somewhere. There we are. Here it is, another copper penny. All right, let's keep going. 
Well, folks, I'm not moving very far. My other three plugs right around here. Here I am with another hole here. And we have another good find. Another quarter. All right, let's keep digging. We might have some more signals right in the same area. I don't think it's a coin spill. They're all different depths. Uh, this one is probably seven, eight inches. The other one's about seven, eight inches. The other two was uh, just a couple inches or three, two to three inches deep. So uh, I don't think it's a coin spill, but uh, we have coins all cluttered up in one little area. So we'll keep digging. Well, I swing my coil about six more inches. Here's the last hole. Here's the new one, and I have um, something in this, uh, I guess this ball right here. Let's see what we got. Oh, there it is right there. All right, we have a dime, so another good find. Let's move on to the next hole. All right, we're going to do a live dig right here. All right, it's in the plug. Let's see what we come up with. There it is. It's a cop pretty. All right, on to the next hole. Well, folks, this may be a first for me. A um, three nickel spill. Uh, nickels are hard to find because they read up as 51, 52. Same thing as pull tabs. Sometimes uh, people don't dig them. Well, I got a pretty good signal here, and in this hole, three nickels. All right, back at you. I'm gonna uh, end my day out here a couple hours. So uh, let me show you my finds. Uh, been out here a couple hours. So as you can see, a uh, couple of Hot Wheel cars. Well, I don't think this is a Hot Wheel card. A little cheaper model, but a Hot Wheel card, another toy card, a key. That half I found earlier, and we have a token, look like a batting cage token. Five quarters, those three nickels I found in one hole, seven dimes, 12 zinc pennies, and five copper pennies. So, really not a bad outing for a couple hours out here. So, guys, keep digging. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.